Oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Poglo Escobar, and uh, we are over here today with Mr. Raccoon and myself over at the Maze Bank offices, ladies and gentlemen, because we intend to have a look at another purchase of Mr. Raccoon giving me the slow hand clap for my driving there. Sorry, hell, bloody Raccoon. Right, okay, we're going to go on inside, I suppose, then. Okay, we're gonna head on up to the office, and now before we begin, ladies and gentlemen, I must warn you, you know, uh, don't speak to my secretary, I haven't spoken to her in years, I spoke to her the other day and found out she does cocaine, and she's been doing my cocaine as well, which is rather, uh, shocking, you know, either way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are over here at the, uh, the Maze Bank offices, as you can see, with Mr. Raccoon sort of standing rather ominously there in the background, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and right, he's sort of snuck up, right, he is coming closer, isn't he, bloody Raccoon, you stay away from me, sir, okay, uh, the Dinker Jester R's, what we're here to look at, it can be found under the legendary mode to sport website and there we go uh, retailing for a price of 1 million or 1.4 uh, sort of million 1.379 so we'll call that 1.4 either one uh, uh, what one one million yeah either 1 million dollars or 1.4 million dollars ladies and gentlemen stuttering over my own words there and we're going to send it on about to uh, the Hillcrest residence as we always do and on this occasion ladies and gentlemen we're going to be getting there in the Dinka Jester Classic don't you know a very uh, very fine car indeed obviously from the same uh, uh manufacturer okay and here we are ladies and gentlemen so arriving in the dinka jester classic to have a look at the dinka jester rr and uh, mr raku sort of overshot the driveway there a little hasn't he? we're going to have to take a wander on up okay he's trying to fire out an anatomizer i do believe but he's missing so no 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 okay well here we are ladies and gentlemen this is the dinka jester rr and what do we think of it well it's really rather interesting isn't it ladies and gentlemen we can see the similarities there with the uh, with the dinka jester classic ladies and gentlemen uh it's rather interesting car i don't dislike it so it looks like a dubachi to me to be perfectly frank with you you know perhaps like uh the 770 or uh, the spectre maybe either way ladies and gentlemen it's a rather interesting looking car it is a sports car as you can see there ladies and gentlemen and uh, of course uh, this is the unmodified uh, version ladies and gentlemen we're going to take it out on the street and see how she handles Okay, and uh, now we have got Mr. Raccoon, ladies and gentlemen, sat alongside us there in his uh, modified uh, Dinka uh, Jester RR, so uh, presumably, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be able to get the upper hand on us, and there he goes. Okay, so acceleration, can't really say much up that hill. Handling, ladies and gentlemen, is rather interesting, a little bit slidey, you can see on the back there, uh, but the handling really is very sharp, you know, not bad at all, not bad at all. I do sort of enjoy driving this car. Whoops, that day's clipped a lamppost and go rolling into a sodding truck. Absolutely sodding, typical. Okay, so we'll have a look at the acceleration okay we're going down because we can't really get a fair measure we'll have a look here ladies and gentlemen. a look at the acceleration right okay so the acceleration not bad ladies and gentlemen not bad whatsoever we're going to check out the stability as mr raccoon gets in front of us there and okay stability is not too clever ladies and gentlemen does sort of want to go sliding off as you can see there so yes that stability is not too good uh, acceleration was okay ladies and gentlemen top end speed now we do seem to be shifting now don't we okay so we're going down there with some degree of rapidity can be said uh, and so the only other question ladies and gentlemen really is handling so let's have a look at this top left hand corner and see how we are and see how we can get around there okay breaking and whoops it is okay so a little bit slightly ladies god right oh sorry hell god knows how i managed to get through there without hitting anything ladies and gentlemen uh, so it is sharp and responsive uh handling ladies and gentlemen but the traction will uh, uh cause you to slide off you know uh, that's pretty much what you can say for it okay well mr raccoon's hopped on out of his uh, vehicle there and he's going to come on over into mine then we're going to head on into the maze bank offices ladies and gentlemen going to have this vehicle uh upgraded and modified okay hurry up old boy won't you for god's sake you know there we go now we're gonna uh, like i said listen we're gonna take it all into the maze bank offices and into the custom auto shop if i can ever seem to get around to it okay and there we go so uh and uh, in we go right so what can we say uh ladies and gentlemen about the uh the dinka jester rr uh, uh, well we pretty much said it so we're going to take it on in and, uh, and uh, upgrade it okay and uh Jeff, this is going to be uh just uh the section of the video ladies and gentlemen mr raccoon's clapping away in the background uh this is going to be the section of the video ladies and gentlemen where we do uh, go ahead and modify the vehicle now we are going to cut out uh, more of the performance uh, related aspects such as engine tuning uh suspension transmission and turbo 
combo and so forth, you know, in order to uh, just speed things up a little bit. Uh, but we will go through the rest of the entire modifications available to this car, ladies and gentlemen. And I can show you, uh, the, assure you, the really, 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 uh, rather a lot of them. Okay, so uh, yeah, well, there we go. Listen, that being said, we will be going through this section of the video, you know, at double speed, just in order to hurry things along somewhat, because it can take rather a long time on occasions. Uh, but like I say, still give you the opportunity to have a look at the different uh, modifications that can be affected to this vehicle, should you then choose to go ahead and purchase it, you know. Okay, so all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, like I say, what can we say about the Dinker uh, Jester RR? Well, uh, the original Dinker Jester, ladies and gentlemen, the Classic was a very, very good car. It uh, wasn't uh, absolutely superb. It did have its faults, you know, traction was one of them. Uh, I think it was lacking on top end speed as well. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, it's a perfectly, uh, perfectly acceptable car, you know. Uh, the Dinker Jester RR, ladies and gentlemen, seems to be very much uh, keeping it in the family, you know, the same sort of traits seem to be coming through there. Uh, the acceleration seemed very good, uh, the top end sp uh, speed engine did seem appreciable, although uh, I can't uh, be certain if it was mind bending or not, it didn't seem to be a GTO or an RSX killer, you know. Uh, but it may uh, may well give a supercar run for its money, uh, one of the lower end ones perhaps. Uh, we'll uh, have to no, doubtlessly establish that when we take it up to the track. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, it's handling, isn't it? You know, the handling is very good, it's very, it's got very sharp, very responsive handling, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately the back end will come away on because the traction is no good whatsoever. Uh, so there we go. What can one say? It's sort of uh, if I had better traction, it would be an absolute beast. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be rather slippy, slimy, and uh, one will have to uh, have a lot of practice with it in order to get a, a good grip with it. You know, uh, get, sort of get to grips with it. Okay, uh, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are going through the colours, we are going through the libraries, and uh, anyone who knows the format of these videos will therefore know that by now we are coming towards the end of this section of the video. And thank God for that, you know. And uh, we will briefly be taking get back out onto the street ladies and gentlemen to continue with uh, the different tests that we uh, undertake on this particular channel okay and finally there we go so here we go ladies and gentlemen now we have got uh mr raccoon in his uh dinker just to rr so we have got two fully modified dinker just to rr's ladies and gentlemen we're going to put them around the standard lap okay acceleration up that hill not too bad uh handling around that corner ladies and gentlemen it is wet but we still did manage to hold it ladies and gentlemen as long as you break uh, sufficiently you know this handling is sharp enough to get around with uh, uh no uh just significant oversteer uh we're going down here quite fast the top end speed is very good we're going to try the top right hand corner and there we go ladies and gentlemen Managing to get around, you know, including one little tiny post there. So, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, with this sufficient amount of uh, braking, one can uh, handle this car even on wet streets. Top end speed now, ladies and gentlemen, does seem to be fine, and it does seem to be going really rather fast, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, we can never be certain until we get up to the tracks and whatnot, but it's oh, sodding hell, right? Okay, Mr. Raccoon sodding well knocked me off, didn't it? Bloody hell. Right, okay, he was just sodding jealous, that's all it was, you know, because I was in front of him. Right, okay, well, never mind, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Uh, we are going to bring it back on round to the maze bank offices now, ladies and gentlemen, and there we go. Oh, sorry, hell, right, isn't that a bloody car? Okay, so uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the standard lap. Uh, there are, of course, a couple of other issues to deal with before we go up to Sandy Shores. The first one, of course, is you can bring it, uh, your vehicles, the latest releases, down to the LS Street Meet, ladies and gentlemen, uh, shown on the map here, as you can see. And should you so choose, you can uh, go ahead and take them into the uh, the custom auto modification, whatever the hell it is they've got down there, ladies and gentlemen. Going to have the low grip tires put on, and you go down to the the tire wheels, you go down the tires, tire enhancements, ladies and gentlemen, up to the low grip tires for five hundred dollars. And what that's going to do in a nutshell is uh, absolutely reduce your acceleration, give you fantastic top end speed, and uh, reduce any ability you've got to corner. So here we go, two Dinka Jester RRs, both identical cars. I've got the slick tires. Mr. Raccoon has not, and as you can see, I took a lot longer to get to speed, but when I do, I come flying past him, ladies and gentlemen. So you think slick tires are better? They're the answer. The truth of it is no, because as soon as you come to a corner, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to go sliding off while your competitor just uh, zooms around, no problem whatsoever. And even when you try to get back on the track, you're going to go skidding everywhere. Okay, so low grip tires aren't any uh, much cop as far as we're concerned. So we're going to take on to the top speed test track, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see what it gets. This is uh, not with low grip tires, it's with standard tires, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the Dinker Jester R. Uh, are going down the top speed test track just to give you an indication of what we consider to be a competitive time is 53 54 seconds so okay then ladies and gentlemen let's see what the thinker jester can give us you know now i did go wiggling off but i did this test a number of times ladies and gentlemen we consistently get 55 seconds so on the outside edge of competitive but only just ladies and gentlemen so a competitive vehicle maybe and a rather striking one i'm sure you'll agree it is got, sort of got some sort of interesting stylistic elements not entirely certain about the back end there okay well uh, the other point ladies and gentlemen of course is it does have two different settings it has got a 
standard uh, lower and uh, lowered stance, ladies and gentlemen. So a default stance and a lowered stance. I have got the uh, default stance. Mr. Raccoon there in his identical Jinka, just the RR is in a lowered stance. Uh, and rather peculiarly, ladies and gentlemen, normally uh, the lowered stance goes uh, faster and has got worse handling, ladies and gentlemen. But strangely enough, we find that oh, in this particular car, on this particular occasion, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that the default setting, ladies and gentlemen, just simply beats the lowered stance. So we can't really figure out what's going on there. It beats it quite significantly. And so uh, for all of these races, ladies and gentlemen, we will be uh, rolling with the Dinka Jester RR in the uh, default stance. And there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So we are starting now with the uh, with the actual test laps as they are the races as they are. The very first vehicle that we're bringing out uh, is the Dinka Jester Classic, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, younger or the older sister, I suppose, depending which way you look at it. But the original Dinka Jester Classic, ladies and gentlemen, going up against the uh, Dinka Jester RR. Uh, one may well expect the Classic to lose, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't seem to be into that corner, ladies and gentlemen. Where we managed to slide around in front of it. Ah, uh, yes, we got it in front of it. So the Dinka Jester RR is going to beat the Classic, ladies and gentlemen. And perhaps one shouldn't be surprised at that it is the more modern vehicle of course and there we go some uh, significant difference by the time we get to the end of the runway so the next vehicle we're bringing out ladies and gentlemen is the Karen Sultan RS Classic this is a vehicle that was released uh, recently or relatively recently compared to the Dinka Jester RR uh, it has got fantastic acceleration as you can see there ladies and gentlemen it just launched itself off into the distance okay so that tiny spec is uh, the Dinka uh, is the Karen Sultan Classic uh, uh, RS ladies and gentlemen it's got absolutely atrocious hands which means by the time we get to the top of the corner, ladies and gentlemen, we're able to get around and sort of match it. Uh, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, yes, the uh, the uh, the uh, RS Classic there, ladies and gentlemen, just have fantastic top speed. But having said that, hold on a minute, we catch it at the last moment. <laughs> How about that? So that really was rather interesting fighting for it all the way. Okay, the next car that we're bringing out, ladies and gentlemen, is the Comet, uh, the Fister Comet S2. Once again, this is another car that has been released relatively recently, you know. Uh, we found that it underperforms around the track, to be perfectly frank with you, ladies and gentlemen. Having said that it does seem to be sat in front of the Dinka Jester RR there. Okay, getting to the top corner, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, like the Karen uh, Sultan Cla RS Classic there, ladies and gentlemen, we sort of did uh, gain some ground, but it does seem, ladies and gentlemen, that the Fist of Comet is fighting for it, uh, but along that back stretch, as you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the, Cla the Dinka Jester RR has got a little more under the hood, a little bit more power, so it takes it down there. Okay, now at Mr. Raccoon's insistence, ladies and gentlemen, we are now bringing out the Ocelot Lynx. This isn't a similar, this is, I don't even think it isn't a Similar ballpark, now this is about 1.7 uh, 1,750,000, I do believe, for this car. So, one and three quarter million, ladies and gentlemen, for the uh, the Ocelot Lynx. Uh, we found that it last uh, it lost to absolutely everything we put it up against uh, around the test track. So, we really weren't impressed by it, ladies and gentlemen. We were seeing what it could do up against the uh, the Jester, and the answer is not a fat lot. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, Dinka Jester RR takes down the Ocelot Lynx, and that's pretty much uh, you know, a pretty clear cut, as I'm sure you'll agree. Agree, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we're bringing out what I have always started to refer to, ladies and gentlemen, as a serious contender. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the benefactor Serrano. $110,000 for this particular vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. It is pretty much the bottom end benefactor. And uh, for those of you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, who may be who are uninitiated, you might be about to see something rather interesting. Okay, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the benefactor Serrano pulling alongside and then in front of the Dinka Jester RR. And it is a uh, true, ladies and gentlemen. We are trying to fight back to get it. But for those of you who weren't aware of the Dinka, of the uh, benefactor Serrano, ladies and gentlemen, you are. On now okay so uh, we're going to take things more seriously ladies and gentlemen we're bringing out supercars now this is a um, sort of what we consider perhaps a mid-range uh, supercar ladies and gentlemen for 1.4 million dollars it is uh the true fate Nero, don't you know? Once upon a time, a very fine car. It still is, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it has been outclassed by many other vehicles. Uh, but as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the moment you pull out even a semi-serious supercar, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid it's all over for the uh, the Dinka Jester RR. Now, admittedly, I didn't take the best corner, did go off the track there, but I'm sure you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, there really is uh, no two ways about it. The Nero has absolutely smashed the RR into the ground, and perhaps we shouldn't be surprised about that. Okay, so we're going to wrap things up now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to bring out our uh, Mr. Raccoon like to refer to as Big Daddy Z. This is, of course, the Pegasi Zentorno, retailing for a price of $725,000. And in our opinion, ladies and gentlemen, one of the finest cars on GTA Online for the money. You know, uh, not the not a, you know the fastest car by any stretch of the imagination, but for the money you're spending, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to get a better car. You know, it simply is absolutely fantastic. And there we go. Uh, it's going to uh, absolutely destroy, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the uh, the Dinkage. 
Manchester. Ah, ah. And there we go. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, there is only one more question, and that question is the Garotti Itali RSX. This is what Mr. Raccoon likes to refer to as uh, the final masquerade, you know. We on the channel consider the RSX to be the fastest uh, car on GTA Online. Maybe not in a straight line, but uh, certainly around the street. And I should also take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, as there's no chance the uh, RR is going to beat it. To point out that all of the other cars are being driven by Mr. Raccoon. His name is the Bromby. He has a channel of his own. It is called the Bromby. If you type that into YouTube, you should be able to go and find it. One do that. He's got some rather good videos on there. Okay, so no surprise, the RR loses to the RSX, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, that's going to be pretty much the end of the video then. So we're going to wrap it up and uh, come to our conclusions and say what we think. And what do we think? Uh, well, the truth of it is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, I'm not entirely convinced, you know. Uh, it's too slidey uh, for my liking, but uh, it is only a million dollars on the uh, uh, trade price. I don't know if it's worth 1.3 or 1.4. Mr. Raccoon says it is, uh, and he's going to try to teach me a lesson, but he's not a very good shot, so I'm going to blow him. Uh, bloody hell, sodding raccoon well there we go i do hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching